Hey YouTube, this is Chris again with another one of Tim and Chris's how-to videos. Now, Tim is my YouTube partner in crime, and you'll be hearing from him in some of our other videos. But today, you're with me, so let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how to change the WordPress caption border, its color and its size, along with the text color and its style. Um, this is the I'm in the back end of WordPress right now, and if we look at one of our at a website here, this is one of our niche websites that I'm using uh, for this tutorial. This is how it looks on an actual website. So let's go to the back to the back end of our WordPress. Now there's a few things that you can do to a caption image, uh, but it's very limited. For example, you can click on the image and go over to edit image, click on that, up to advanced settings, down to border and we'll make that three. And in style we'll change the border from let's say black to blue. Then we'll update that. And as you can see, the border has changed. Um, and as you can see in our website here, if we refresh it. Oh, forgot to update. Update. And refresh. <clears throat> now you can see it's changed. Now the problem with this is, the problem with doing it um, that way is you're limited on the thing, the colors you can do, and not to mention you'll have to do this for every single image. Well, the way I'm going to show you, it's going to do it, uh, make the color change to all the images at once. Not to mention you really can't do anything with your font. Uh, type or color. So let's go back to the back end of WordPress and we'll set this back the way it was. Update. <clears throat> go down here and update again. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go over to the left side of the screen and hover over appearance. Then go down to editor. Click on that. Once an editor, you'll see um, the HTML coding. What we'll need to do now is go over to the right side of the screen, scroll all the way down until you see styles. Underneath styles, you'll find style sheet. Click on that. And in the style sheet is where we're going to make these changes. Now you can either scroll down and look for the captions portion of it, or on your keyboard, you can, you can hold down the control button and then tap the letter F and this box will appear. And you can see our, I've already spelled it, but you can spell out the caption. And what that does is it highlights and brings you directly to where you need to be. <clears throat> now, it's a good idea to either back up your uh, WordPress before doing any changes or what I like to do because I'm more comfortable in working in the style sheet, I'll right click, select all, right click again, copy, and I'll go into notepad, I'll paste it, file, save as, desktop, and I'll name it style. And I'll save it. Now this is nothing more than a fail safe just in case something happens, you have everything here that you need to put it exactly the way it was before. Now that we've done that, and we know that we're working in this section here, now I do have to mention that every um, theme is different when it comes to this. So yours might not look exactly like mine, but it'll be pretty close. And the things you're looking for is above and below the caption. You're looking for things like border and background. And that's for your caption image. Now what I personally like to do is highlight just the area I'm working in. And I'll copy that. Go back to Notepad and I'll paste that. And um, I'm not going to save this. I don't need to. I'm just going to minimize it. But I'm really just after this here. And these are the, the color codes, just in case um, I want to revert back to the original color because I'm not happy with 
what I've chosen, and I just want to go back to the original color. You have it here. So we'll minimize that. Now we'll get to work on um, our color coding. So what we'll do is we'll go to the Google machine here. And we'll type in HTML, HTML color codes right there. Now you can choose any, any one you like. I like this one here. And what this is, it gives you every color that you can possibly think of. So we'll scroll down and we'll pick a, pick a color we like. <clears throat> I like this coffee color. That's not too bad. So we'll highlight this color, this, uh, this number code here, and copy it. Then we'll go back to our editor, and here you'll see, well, this is the border. So we're going to paste that right there, and update file. Once we've updated the file, we'll go back to our website, and we'll check it out. And you can see it's a very thin uh border but and it did change color but I want to make the border a little th thicker so we'll go back to our editor and you see here it says border one pixel and we'll change that to three then we'll go back down and update the file back to our website and refresh you can see the borders now changed but now we have a white space between the picture and the border, so I'm going to take care of that. I'm going to fill that in as well. We can fill that in with the same color, and we'll just highlight that and paste with the same color. Update the file, back to our website, and check it out. Now you can see the border is... Um, now been filled in but you can also take a different color if you like maybe let's take a <clears throat> the red fox color here and we'll copy these numbers and letters go back down to the editor and under the background color where we just paste the last one we'll paste this new one here alright and we'll update the file once again Back to our website and see what that looks like. And it looks all right, not too bad. Now let's work on um, on the text. Now for the text, we can see here it says WP caption text, and we have different um, different things we can do. Let's work on the color for this text. So let's find another color that we like. Maybe we'll take a, the wood color here. Maybe it's something a little darker, huh? How about the uh, mocha? So we'll copy that. Back to our editor. And we'll paste that there. Update the file. Let's have a look. And as you can see, the color did change. Now what we can do is, now you see it's italicized, but maybe I want a different font type. So what we'll do is we'll go to the Google machine. And we'll type in, we'll search for CSS font family. And you can pick any one that you like. And in this case, let's go for um, the Comic Sans Surf. So we'll just highlight that. Go back to our editor. And under Font Style, we'll highlight the italic and replace that with what we just copied. And again, once again, we'll go down and update the file and we'll check it out. And as you can see, it changed. The font um, color has been changed, the font style. Now, if you want to bold it, because it's not bolded, well, 
we can do that, but there's nothing in here um, that's allowing us to do that. So we have to make another line, put the cursor at the end of font size. You can actually put it anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Enter, and I'll just line all this up together. And what we're going to do is we're going to type font dash weight colon space bold semicolon and we'll update the file go back and check this out and now it's um, now it's bold so there you have it another successful and simple how-to video now you can change the border and the font to any color that you like and not to mention, it'll do that to all of your images at once. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment if you'd like. Thanks.